Today we are trying the Monster Toolkit from Rampant Design Tools. We are using After Effects CC and Mocha to track the motion and turn our handsome Al in a creepy zombie. You can pretty much track anything once you learn how to use Mocha. You can use it in Photoshop too, it's not only for After Effects. What's in the pack? It's over a thousand five hundred zombie elements such as nose, eyes, jaws, gross pieces that you will for sure have fun putting out together to create what will fit for the ideal zombie that you want. The first thing you have to do is open After Effects and make a new project. Then you import your footage and you can create a new composition with your clip. So you drag your clip on the new composition button here and the new composition will be the length of your clip. I'm going to select this part. This part is going to work well because he is not really moving his head on the sides. It's important that his face stays clear. So once I have picked my clip, I select it and I go in animation and I choose track in Mocha AI. This is going to link my After Effects clip to Mocha. And when it opens, it already wrote all the, the settings that should be written, the frame rate and all that stuff. So I just click OK. Now your clip is between those two red lines. So what I like to do is to zoom in a little bit and then I take the, the X line here. Ideally, you would track every part individually so that you get a, a better tracking for each, each thing that you want to do. We are going to start with the eyes. So I'm going to make the outline of the eye here, maybe take the nose with it. I like to add a lot of dots. Under here you have um, track to next frame or track forward. So I'm gonna try track forward. So this is going to analyze it, track all the frame and store the information. And it should stop at the line here. Analyze backward. And now it should stop. So if we watch it, it seems to be pretty stable. Now once this is done, if you're happy with the tracking, it's, it's hard to tell once you have all the lines like that. So it's, it's important to go and try it on your After Effects project. So you'd go and do export tracking data here. And I like to choose position, scale and rotation. And I copy it to my clipboard. And I go back in my, in my After Effects project. I'm going to do a null object and rename it eyes and I will simply paste my tracking data so now all my tracking data frame by frame has been pasted there I'm simply going to drag a few images of eye socket from uh, monster toolkit in the eye socket section just going to drag and drop it in my project it starts by being really huge which is good to keep the texture I'm just going to take the side of my, my image and press shift to keep the proportions. What I like to do is to take the pen tool and then I create a mask and then I go in my mask setting and I adjust the feather. Sometimes what I like to do is to, to do another mask inside and do the same technique so that it blends better. So I'm going to take the little parenting thing here that looks like a shell and drag it to eye. And my eye socket should follow the tracking information from what we just tracked. I think it needs to be refined a little bit. If you put more time tweaking it, you're gonna get a great result. So sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it looks stupid, like air, like it's going to get out of the, the face area. So I'll have to maybe tweak the, the, the keyframe air. Okay, so there's a tiny weird nose here. So again, it's pretty big. I'm gonna take the corner. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna make a mask around it, like that. I go in the mask settings and make it a little feather. Now I'll take the parenting tool and link it to my null object. And we're going to see if it works or it. Sometimes it's kind of working. Like I should spend at least like another 20 minutes on refining my, my tracking in Mocha, making sure that maybe I have more more details taking in consideration, like really going, making a lot of dots in between like the outline of the eyes, making it more like fancy. I'm going to start and make a better tracking of the mouth. To start again, I usually just delete this and I go in the middle 
And this time we're gonna go closer. I take the X spline here, and I'm gonna try to make many dots like that. So technically now we just do the same we did before. We're gonna track forward and hope that it doesn't do that. <laughs> Every time it gets out of what we want, we have to reselect it and then move it a little bit. And then we're gonna track forward again. And then we lose the top, so I'm gonna have to bring it back here again. So it's a lot of tweaking. Practice a lot before and don't get discouraged because once you get it, it's so much fun and you're gonna be so proud of yourself. So if it's really messy and it just doesn't work your way, you can go and do track to next frame. That way you're gonna go frame by frame and always adjust it and you're gonna swear a lot, but you're gonna get through this and then you're gonna get super good. We're gonna go and export tracking data, then we make sure we get position, scale and rotation, and we copy to clipboard. I go in After Effect, and we're gonna make a new null object. Go at the first frame. Now I'm going to import some mouth from the Monster Toolkit. As you can see, I'm a very disorganized person. I just drop it there and then hope I can find it back again. But at least the product is all, all organized in different sections. So if you want cheeks, you go there and all of your cheek files are there. Same thing for chin. Like it's really well organized. We're gonna try to add an adjustment layer and make a color correction where I took the time to tone it down in the transform setting and change the opacity. It kind of makes better. I think that the skin kind of looks too clear. I'm going to track uh, the, the complete face and add a skin texture to it. But already you see that color correction can make a huge difference. If I remove it, it kind of looks more fake. So we're gonna go and, and erase our tracking data here. So I'm just going to track his old face like that. So now I go and analyze it forward. And we're gonna do the same thing and analyze it backward. Export tracking data. Position, scale, rotation. Okay, copy to clipboard. We go in our After Effects project. Layer, new. And go in skin texture. And we pick one. So just like the other files, this one is still going to be gigantic. I might just turn my adjustment layer up for a second just to see what I'm doing. I go in toggle switch mode to make sure that I can see this thing here, this little rectangle, and then I can try different blending option. The supply is working well, and then I go in opacity and I make it less opaque. And I'm gonna make a mask, use a pen tool, and I make a little feather. I'm gonna take the parenting tool and parent it to my skin. So already with a skin texture, it kinda like, gives it more character. Here you can see that I really need to refine my, my tracking for the eye. That's mostly it. I'm gonna add a couple of links in the, the description of more in-depth tutorial about mocha tracking and tracking in general. So if you want to spend more time learning about it, then you're gonna have a lot of tools to do so. If you have the chance to add motion tracking markers on your model, then it's good to do so. But it does work well by tracking parts of the face. Unless you intend to have your subject move a lot and turn his head, if you are willing to spend hours making it digitally, then it's a good solution. It's not less time consuming, but it is giving you more possibilities and you can adapt all of the different pieces in the package and create unlimited amount of new creatures. This could be great for a big production to save you money. Once you get better at motion tracking and you get the idea, you can start tracking pretty much whatever you want.